Very good evening and welcome to the programme. First tonight, mourners at the funeral of John Stollery were told by his widow that he was our hero and that a mindless act of terrorism wouldn't rob them of their memories. Hundreds of people paid their respects to the social worker from Nottinghamshire who was among 38 people who were killed in a Tunisian resort last month. Quentin Rayner reports. A month after the terror of Tunisia, one of Walesby's own came home today. At least 300 mourners attended the funeral, too many to all fit inside St Edmund's Church. Paratroopers provided a guard of honour. As a young man, John Stollery had been a proud member of the regiment and served in Northern Ireland. Ken Fuller, a fellow member of 2 Para, served alongside him. But really, John, you were brave and courageous and nothing was too much trouble. Every bit a professional soldier and a true airborne warrior. And it was a privilege in our lives to have stood by your side. We are proud to say we knew you. Rest easy, my brother, and we'll all see you later. His family wanted his funeral to be a celebration of his life and achievements. Mourners were asked to wear something pink, John's favourite colour. Friends and family spoke about the privilege of knowing the 58-year-old. Mourners heard about a fantastic father, a man who was kind, considerate and generous, touched so many lives in a positive way, loved chocolate and supercars and had a wicked sense of humour. Cheryl, his widow, paid her tribute through a family friend. John, the promises I made to you in life and on your passing, I will strive to fulfil with all my love and respect for you. I feel privileged to have been your wife, love and miss you always. Shine brightly and you are our hero. John Stollery had been a social worker for 16 years. Many of those he'd helped foster attended the funeral. One 13-year-old girl said he'd made her dreams a reality. Uh, an absolutely outstanding, uh, compassionate, social worker that, that always went the extra mile for the, the children that he worked with. You know, there were ripples and the, the children that he cared for. He did a fantastic job with them and, uh, and they're going to really miss him. After a military mark of respect, the coffin emerged to the song Heaven Must Have Needed a Hero. His widow said a mindless act of terrorism wouldn't rob them of their love and memories. And mourners were told that hearts that hate will be turned around to peace. Quentin Rayner, BBC's Midlands Today, Walesby.